My name is Matt Clay Brooks. I am a comedian and comedy writer. Been doing comedy for almost 10 years now. I worked on a few shows. I wrote for Everybody Hates Chris. I wrote for a show called The Game and countless other like projects. I don't watch the Eddie Murphy movies that I think is gonna suck because I want Eddie Murphy to be up here. So I haven't seen Holy Man. Pluto Nash. I mean, there's so many that I haven't seen. Vampire in Brooklyn. I haven't seen any of these movies because I want Eddie Murphy to be up here. Tonight, there was nobody in the audience that was not a comedian. We're at the Tribal Cafe downtown LA. Um, seems to be more of a music open mic, but that's the best place for uh, comedians to do a music open mic because everybody's here to hear music. You do comedy, so you kind of vary it a little bit and they don't get bored of the comedy so much, like a comedy open mic, so it seems cool. Nobody's really interested in great stand-up. No. I mean, like as far as club owners, or you know what I mean? They're not interested in great stand-up. They're interested in, okay, how many people are gonna be here? You come in. You almost don't even have to be a good stand-up. Just as long as you can. Really? Yeah, I mean like, you know, that's why you have like, you know, when Screech was a big deal, it was because people were coming out. They didn't care that he didn't have a background in stand-up and he was like making a lot of audiences never want to come out to their club again. Right. <laughs> you look a little uncomfortable with your sweater on. Like, I don't know if I should laugh at this or I should walk out. Tonight, can't say I um, hit any gold, but probably struck a little copper. Here at Marty's, uh, another night. I uh, come here at least once or twice a week. Um, it's what I call the uh, comedy flop house. Theoretically, you can get up as many times as you want to from 5 p.m. all the way to closing, which is around 11 or 12 midnight. Fox News and Bill O'Reilly is always talking about the war on Christmas. I'm like, there's Christmas shit everywhere. There's churches everywhere. If there's a war on Christmas, the motherfuckers is kicking ass. You know what I mean? Um, it's a little prostitution uh, yeah, thing going on right here. <laughs> so, yeah, he, I guess she paid just, Marty. Give me a tip. Right, right. Call me. <laughs> just think if you lived in your car, you would need a Marty's. Like you could fucking plug your phone in, they got Wi-Fi. <laughs> mattresses and shit. I think people sleep here at night too. I'm not sure of it, but I really think it's it's at least three or four motherfuckers that's sleeping here. <laughs> and if, if shit, that's worth five dollars. <laughs> Wasn't the best, um, but it's normal at Marty's. Wasn't that many people. That's comedy in LA, man. <laughs> Hit or miss. Most of the time miss. <laughs> Friday night here at Sabor Coffee House, Hollywood Boulevard. I'm thinking about becoming a Jehovah's Witness. So I don't have to buy anybody's shit. But I'm not just gonna spring it on people on Christmas. I like now I started putting like watchtowers on people's <laughs> shit. Like, hey, have you thought about this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just do that a little bit, knock on a couple doors. 
you know, just make people know that it's authentic. And then when they don't get a gift, they're like, well, you know he was Jehovah's Witness, right? Saturday night, um, here at a Tribal Cafe uh, on Beverly. Don't look too hot tonight. Not many comics or, or any regular audience members. Well, somebody even said on like one news thing, like, has, have you ever been hired by a poor person? Nobody has. I'm like, I beg to differ. I think poor people do hire a lot of people. Poor people are the reason why cops have jobs. Um, poor people <laughs> are the reason why welfare workers have jobs. Poor people are the reason why, you know, the lottery is doing well. <laughs> That's a lot of job creators. Emergency room. Emergency room, people get shot because they were fucking fighting over fucking top ramen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, wasn't great, wasn't great at all, but I'm still glad I came because I got my stage time on a Saturday night, which is extremely difficult to get in LA. I, I, I get the raise taxes on rich, rich people, but I don't understand fucking cut social welfare programs. I don't understand why rich people have a problem with social welfare programs because social welfare programs is the only thing stopping me from stabbing a rich motherfucker in the neck. <laughs> All right, just came from Meltdown Comics. I'm going to the comedy store right now. I'm about to do a set, hopefully two sets. But I don't understand why Republicans and rich people don't like social welfare programs. They want to get rid of them. They want to get rid of Social Security. They want to lower Medicare and all that. Because social welfare programs is the only thing stopping me from stabbing a rich person in the neck. <laughs> That's the only thing stopping me. Gangs and thugs used to make my life a living hell. So I came up with a theory on how to get rid of them. I think we should change all the names of the streets and the parks to some derogatory shit. Like, um, Kiss My Ass Avenue. Or I Suck Dick Park. <laughs> because you can't be from I Suck Dick Park and be proud of it. You know what I mean? Be like, dog, what set you from? Man, I'm representing the... Oh, man, I don't gangbang no more, dog. I'm going back to school to get my GED. Because if you was from I Suck Dick Park, what would the gang sign be? Be like, nigga, this I Suck Dick on my cup. I will suck you up, motherfucker. couple of these bits that I was doing will, will definitely make it into my overall set and become really special at some point. So uh, this, this week of stage time was, was great.